Alright. So we're in. For the record, that was not nearly as long of a wait as it was for Old Deer or BOD. But then, then again, I guess that's to be expected. So it's still kind of working this out. I was actually able to queue in as a DPS instead of a healer. So that's a little less stressful. Alright. So here we are. We are in the Eternal Palace. This should be interesting. Ah, whoops, whoops. Get that out of the way. There Die, we go. Trespasser. Ten thousand years ago, as the seas engulfed Zinajari, Queen Ajara forged a dark bargain with Nazoth that transformed her loyal subjects into the sinister Naga. Though through millennia of brutal conquest, Azara has built a new empire from the ruins of the old and now holds dominion over the depths of that once threatened to claim her. Ever the gracious host, she has invited the Alliance and the Horde alike into her eternal palace to witness her glorious ascension and their ultimate demise. So we're just kind of going through the, some of the trash here. I'm not afraid. First boss is right over there up ahead. Abyssal Commander Savar. You guys remember her, right? We met her earlier when we first came to Ashitar. A master of both martial and magical arts, Savara has ruthlessly led Ajara's vanguard to countless victories. So, before I queued up for this, I actually double-checked that my uh, DBM and uh, bigwig stuff was all ready to go uh, for this raid. I also figured that gear-wise, it would be easier to just go ahead and get in here and do this before I could be able to get into uh, Mechagon, since I was actually asked a couple people and they were like, uh, usually 420s minimum is a good idea to have before going into Mechagon. So, yeah. It's possible I may have to wait until 8.3, because I heard there's going to be a vendor where you can actually go and purchase 420 gear uh, as a catch-up mechanic when 8.3 comes out, in case you want to do some of that other stuff. I like how the group is joking about how many shamans we have, and we do. Look at how many shamans are in a group. <laughs> oh, man, that's great. Earth and Ring! for life. I personally play fire on my main mage, but... But I've heard all three specs are not bad. But you can't really go wrong with any of the three specs. I think we pulled, uh, we pulled uh, a little bit. Oh, great. Someone already left. But someone already joined right away. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh... I'm going to go ahead and just kind of start uh, using my elemental here because we are just taking a beating right here. Woo! My goodness. That is a lot of trash we pulled. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so these gladiators will just charge straight for someone in the back line. Good to know. Let's just pull the entire room for fun. <laughs> I 
I mean, as long as we, you know, the somehow won't get aggroed when we pull the boss. So. For Queen Hopefully this doesn't close them off. Oh, never mind. We apparently are resetting the boss. I don't know why. I guess they just wanted to have a moment to position themselves in here, I guess. Alright, so from what I can tell, it says that this boss has something called Frostmark and Toxic Brand. So, position away from players and avoid attacks of the opposing element. Intercept the bullets. And overflow damage is evenly divided amongst all players. Three, two, one. Just a reminder, this is my first time ever going through this raid. So we'll see how it goes for me. Hopefully, my teammates will be able to do a bit of care. Be able to carry me a bit, I should say. Oh, Gammon's here. We're good. We can't lose now. Oh boy. Okay, Toxic Brand on me, Frostmark on me. I have a Frostmark on me. Alright, so I have to avoid that, I guess, right? I get a with both. Interesting. Though it doesn't seem... I don't know, maybe I didn't get hit with the full force of it. For a moment I thought I did. It didn't seem to do that much damage. Alright. Halfway through her health. Chimeric Marks. Interesting. Uh oh. Alright. We're good. We're fine. I have two Frost Marks. Oh, I have to avoid players with the other mark. Okay, otherwise that has like a... This reminds me of that fight from uh, Tumasar Garrus, the Maiden, where, you, you know, if you had either light or fell, you had to avoid hitting the other, otherwise you were going to explode. That's what that reminds me of. Thanks. Boys out. Pretty sure many of them are elemental. But then again, I am noticing a few other enhancement shamans here. We're gonna do this raid like with tons of shamans. At least this first wing. Berserk in three minutes. Wow, that is a short berserk timer. Got my echo of mortality. Huh. For those of you who don't know, that's uh, part of a quest for that thing involving the um, the uh, the transmog set for 
uh, pre-ordering Shadowlands. That um, transmog set? Yeah, the, the Traveler? Yeah. So that's what that quest is. And I haven't really taken any time to go out and search for those. Partly because I wasn't really sure where to go. And I haven't... It's really... It's a little hard to figure out where I'm supposed to go. But I was just like, yeah, whatever. But hey, how about that? I got uh, one of those just for being part of this. Like, we got some trade talk going on here. I don't expect LFR is going to produce any good here for this. I'm pretty sure that uh, I would have to redo this in a that's doing it on part of the difficulties to be to get actual better things. I'm doing this mainly just to show you guys the story. And to, you know, of course, to do this quest. So. This next boss is going to be interesting based on what I've been hearing and seeing. Oh, look at this. Interesting little shortcut to... It try is good you survived. <laughs> we can't get over... All right, there we go. Right, we're, we're good. To end we're good. Prematurely. Enough of these games, Azara. Face us! Whoops. Patience, little one. We will be together soon enough. I don't lose track of where my team went. We are going down, as it looks like. I was like, huh? Wait, where, where are we going? Means to hold us at bay, but I can sense fonts of magic close by that are feeding into this room. If we disrupt the flow of those channels, Ashvane's barrier will fall. <laughs> Alright, the next boss is going to be the Blackwater Behemoth, summoned from the depths unknown. The Blackwater Behemoth lurks in an abyss, so dark that not even the Naga dare to venture into it. Only Yajara is capable of taming the beast, and she has trained it to faithfully guard her treasures. An army of ghost wolves. <laughs> Coordination LFR lol. That is a little funny. Apparently people are just randomly leaving and then you, we get someone else randomly joining us. Sure. What? Interrupt. 
Great, an elite. Oh yeah, this is the this is no doubt a way to uh, introduce us to the um, the mechanic that's going to be involved with this next boss. Healing magic fails to function normally. Players must acquire bioluminescence in order to be healed by their allies. Swimming over open water while covered in bioluminescence will draw attention from creatures that dwell beneath. Gaze from below. When it expires, the player is instantly killed. Wow. Well, this will be interesting. Oh, so I do have bioluminescence. For the moment. Swim speed increased and underwater breathing. There's no time, so I guess it's a permanent thing while we're doing this encounter. So this explains why we're able to breathe on the walk. I'm gonna turn the game down a bit. Don't want the game to drown me out. <laughs> Get it? Drown? Cause we're no. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Jara will not have left it unguarded. Uh oh. Not easy being green. I like this group. They're 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 funny. They're chatty. Nice stuns there. You gotta stay green, otherwise you're not gonna get any healing. Essence for another 10 seconds, and there he is. Wait, what does he drop? The mind lost blood frenzy, zero of 10 attempts. Oh, huh. darkest depths. Interesting. Oh, oh, darkest depths is on me. Oh, that's how I get it, apparently. I can't click on it though. Well, well, I guess I'm I'm done for. Now I already have. Oh, that's because I already have it from that. But what I don't have is the bioluminescence. It wore off on us, I guess. Do we get it from those things? That would be interesting. <laughs> He's like, hey, I'm undead, so I have the water breathing thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. I have little Nefarian and he's breathing fire underwater. That's how awesome Nefarian is. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're right, it does. He's wearing a Santa hat! That is hilarious! 
Wait, is that mistletoe on the end of his uh, thing? That's mistletoe there on the end of his uh, little. <laughs> Five, four. Merry three, Christmas, two, everyone. One. There's the bioluminescence. I was like, what's going on? Four, three, two, one. It wore off. Now, how do I get it back? Bioluminescent cloud. Oh, there's the cloud right there. That's how. Bioluminescent toxic sponge. Okay. So you have to periodically go find it so you can get, you know, otherwise your healers won't be able to heal you at all. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> He's immune to my stun totem. That's great. Oh, that's that's just great. Oh, there he goes. All right, so now. Darkest depth. Oh wait, that's right. I can basically self heal myself, right? No, it's not working. Because I don't have bioluminescence anymore. Ah! Oh, we have to kill one of these fishes in order to get the bioluminescence, don't we? Bioluminescence. There we go. That's how that works. So we have to keep an eye out for those puffer fish. Toxic spine. Gotcha. Toxic okay, that's an interesting mechanic. Toxic spine. Four, three, two, one. That's so that's adorable. He has a Santa hat on and he has mistletoe at the end of his antenna. That is really cute that Blizzard did that. They were like, you know what, let's let's Christmas afy up this raid. Make the bosses look a little bit more Christmassy. I just realized I'm not green. Bioluminescence. There we go. Bioluminescence. Case from below on you. Ow! Hold on. Oh, okay, that killed me. Oh, man. Okay, so I guess it was that uh, electric shock wave ability that he did just now that must have killed me, right? Yeah, shock pulse. To all players, decreasing damage the further away the players are from the behemoth. The damage reduction over just... Oh, okay, so... Going away from him is basically what I ended up killing. That's 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 great. Well, first time, so I figured some you know I wasn't gonna <laughs> go through this flawlessly. All right, so he's way over there. So look, you know, there's a lot of us. I have a feeling this is gonna be a wipe. You have to cross quickly, otherwise the uh, gaze from below will instantly kill you.
interesting Toxic layout spine. here. Look at the bodies just kind of like, you know, there's some over here, there's some over here, Four, there's some over here. Three, two, one. Uh, yeah, I think this is a wipe. A shot coming. We'll just uh, have to try again. Though I wonder how many people here are actually going to leave. Toxic spine. I hope, I hope no one. It's like, just because we wipe doesn't mean you have to leave. Darkest the only thing is I wish that, uh, we could be able to have a moment to repair. If this was one of those raids where it was, like, allowed you to mount, I could be able to just get on my, uh, you know, my yak and just repair up. Of course, this is also great for druids, because you can see they can just go into their aquatic form. It does make me want to, you know, want to be able to actually do this on, uh, like my druid. I like that we're now marking where the fish are because we have to go there. We also, I, for, I just forgot to do this. Actually, never mind. I still have it. It's the, I still have that buff. But we are marking the fish that we have to kill because we're going to need that bioluminescence to survive this fight. This is going to be interesting. I just realized I can actually mount. Huh. I can mount underwater. Many deals for a friend of the ground. It's the new meta. Just in case you guys want to repair, here you go. I should have lusted there, but... I think this time we are all keeping a much better track of whether or not we have the bioluminescence on us. Gotta be up close, otherwise it's gonna do a lot more damage. Intermission. There we go. All right. Darkest depths. Habitation. Captivation. Berserk in ten minutes, huh? Wait, no one's in. It's in six minutes. close otherwise that shock is gonna kill me but we are doing much better this time around now that we are paying more attention to the mechanics and such also oh, gotta stay up close right, 10 minutes or 10 seconds left is there is there another fish nearby 
hope there is, because I don't have the... Uh... There it is. Get it. There we go. Alright. Mission in 35 seconds. Down to thirty percent. Ah! Four, three, two, one. Ten seconds left on bioluminescence. Toxic And he is about to go on intermission here. Oh boy, I need to move. I need to move. I have no bioluminescence. I'm in trouble because I have no bioluminescence on me. Captivation. Where's that fish? There's a fish right there. Alright, we're going for that one actually. All right. We're okay now. We're good. We're good. We're good. Fifteen percent. Berserk in three minutes. of morality. Hey, look at that. He got the uh, pet. Nice. Rats on the pet. It's like, I'm just gonna we're just going to follow the team. Because it looks like they know where they're going. The Halls of the Chosen. The Radiance of Jara. I'll go ahead and read up, read up on that now. Using her handmaiden as a willing sacrifice, Jara has forged into being an elemental of, of storm and power. Power of, of storm and magic, powered by the soul of the devoted vassal, the resulting monstrosity is the avatar of Ajara's radiance. We don't need these guys anymore. So I'm pretty sure we are on our way out of the water. Once again, someone left and someone joined. I'm so jealous of that guy right there. Look at it. He's got the sword from Agrimar. Now, I have the scythe from Argus, the blue one, but oh, I want that sword so badly. Look at that. Oh, that is so cool. I want that sword so badly. I got to get back to farming Antorus with my... Uh, I thought I could just get it with my warrior, death knight, and paladin, but apparently my hunter can do that as well. So I heard that if I just do, you know, queue for the LFR version of Agrimar, that I could not only beat him, but also be able to farm that uh, sword transmog. Because I really want that sword. So down over there is supposed to be where Lady Ashvane is, but of course we're not doing that this time. In this wing, she's in the next wing. She'll be next time. No! 
What's that? Oh. Not mind. I'm like, I wouldn't mind having that. My weapons are, well... Again, someone left. Thank you. There we go. All attacks have a very low chance to prime Diver's Folly for 12 seconds. 5% of your damage will be stored as bioelectric charge. When Diver's Folly discharges, deal nature damage equal to the charge of three nearby enemies. Not bad. I mean, it was certainly a step up from the other offhand weapon I had. By the way, in case you're curious, I do have a separate set of weapons for when I do play uh, as Resto that are focused on intellect. Only one enemy got affected by my stun totem there. I don't have a target. I know it's called well, I guess it's called capacitor totem. I just call it the stun totem, because that's what it does. That's what it is. I guess we're going this way. Okay. Oof. Look at the damage from our group. Oh, hey, Azara. Who's that? Sazilda. Oh, wait, is that who he faced earlier? Let me guess, she's now getting buffed by Azara. She's like, oh, you poor thing. Here, let me make you stronger. <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> oh, the arcane bombs. Oh, uh, this is that bit where it's like, hey, here's the mechanic you're going to have to deal with like, with this fight. Better learn it right now. Oh, uh, we have to clear the rest of the trash before the boss spawns. Okay. 
Das ist alles. Sakja, the queen's handmaidens. You know she has a lot of handmaidens. Buffett. Ah. Do not eject you from the eye of the storm. Run our king bomb away from your ally so it can be safely dispelled. Look at the damage on our, our group. Woo. That was a lot of damage. Ow. Ouch. Ouch. Oh my goodness. Ah! Huh. The ritual has begun. We all have our parts to play. Isn't that so, my child? Yes. My queen, I sacrifice all that I am to serve you. Gaze upon true devotion, Landwalkers. Behold the rage of a queen. Strike that monstrosity down, champions. We must stop the flow of energy from this chamber. No escape! I mean, this is like the thing we fought in uh, Azuna back in Legion. I'm sorry, did she just... You are not an Archon. Well, actually, then again, maybe she is. In a manner of speaking, maybe she is like an Archon. I'm just saying, though... That's what Archons say. Ow. Oh, actually that didn't hurt that much. I'm gonna actually go over here. Alright, I have moved away. I have a feeling our healers don't know they're supposed to dispel that on me. I'm like, look, I'm just gonna stay away from my teammates in case it gets cast on me. Squall trap. Four, three, two, one. Power overwhelming! Thank no escape! Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, this looks this looks bad. This looks dangerous. Oh I see, we gotta go take out this uh storm wreath. Oh gosh. 
Get away! Wake. You have arcane bomb! Ancient Tempest. Four. Three. Okay. Two. And now we go back to fight. Okay. Ah! One. Uncheck him out. First. Multiple earth elementals. Four, four, three, two, I'm just saying, lots of shamans. That's a pretty fun uh, composition. Mash shamans. Spirits of the water, aid me. What? I'm wielding the doom hammer. Come on. Did I just throw a fish? Did I like throw something? What was that? Title Fist. Oh boy. One. Power overwhelming. Ah! Get away. Get away. And Ow. It's a good thing I'm in my ghost wolf form so I can try and heal myself. Okay, I need to move. I need to get out of this and get to this area so I can stop taking damage. bit more involved compared to the one we faced in the uh, Ayabajara dungeon back in Azuna. It's a similar model, but obviously it's a more involved boss. Oh, it's removed. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And like an Archon, you have burned out. Combine nine aqueous reliquary, bleh, reliquary to create the animated elemental heart, which can be used to infuse your heart of Azeroth with condensed life force. Item created is based on your current loot specialization. Obviously, I, I do not have enough. Oh my goodness, I got a holiday hat. <laughs> Is that just for uh, being the boss? <laughs> I'm just like, when did I get this? Oh, look at this. I, n several of us received this just as loot. I think I already had this. <laughs> A finely tailored red holiday hat. <laughs> okay. The Grand Reception. Alright, so that was the first wing of the Eternal Palace Raid. 
when we come back, we will be delving into the second wing. By the way, in case you're curious, I'm doing this on Monday night, which, as you guys know, is the night before reset. So people are trying to do this before it's reset time, so this will get reset tomorrow morning. The next wing will feature Lady Ashvane, or Goza, Gozoa, and the Queen's Cult. Yes, the Queen's Cult.